Right, so you've started making your card, you want to make a portrait, or maybe you just want to make a bunch of portraits and give it to a friend. Uh, this is going to be a basic tutorial going over like the requirements of making a portrait at least. I am by no means an artist, I usually use other people's work or just slightly modify existing art. Uh, so if you are looking for advice on how to make good looking cards or how to uh, copy something, trust me, I'm, I'm not at all the right person to talk to, but the inscription modding discord, there will be people in there that have advice. Uh, that's much better than anything that I can provide. Uh, right, so we're going to be taking a look at making our Uriuli Ling uh, portrait to something really basic. Uh, so I've got the actual Uriuli art here from the game, along with the emission, uh, just to make the eyes glow. But if we were to actually overlay, you can see that it's just white. Uh, that's all it is and then in the game it changes it to red or green or whatever color it, it needs if you're curious how i actually got this there is a website that actually has a lot of the uh art from the game the like most common art that people use like sigils or buttons or map nodes uh various other things like some bones uh the backs of things tribes talking cards costs all sorts of things like that so if you are looking to get some of those things feel free to grab those i'll check this link in the description so you can grab it i struggled to find this one the reason why i actually found it was because it was in my history uh or one of my bookmarks at that okay so uh, i'm just going to be modifying this card uh in this website photo peer because i don't have photoshop uh if you have something else that you can uh, make art in with a transparent background, feel free to use that. GIMP is a popular choice. Uh, I'm not sure what others actually use as well, but uh, this is the one that I use just just because I find it extremely useful. Uh, yeah. Okay, so to make your portrait, make sure that your dimensions are 114 by 94. If this does not, if you don't have this, then your card will not show properly. It will either be too small or off center or something like that. So be sure to use that it's for the main image and for the uh, emission as well. If you're making a pixel card for Act Two, make sure you're using the correct dimension, which was uh, here we are, 41 by 28. So you can use those as well. And I believe that is just black and white. But then again, I, I barely made any pixel textures so uh that is my assumption and feel free to prove me wrong anyway okay so for this one here if you want to uh start making your card all you need to do is go between black and transparency so you don't need to have any white i forget why white doesn't actually work uh it's all going mainly from black so if you want it to be very visible on the card then use the black try to use about between two and three pixels uh thickness if it's too thin then it might not actually look that great if it's too thick then it might be a bit too chunky but about two pixels wide is what i found to be the best uh and then uh, keep like a lot of detail kind of in the middle if anything so uh and then if you do want to start adding like some fading kind of like it's like the background because you can kind of see here uh, that it's a little bit more darkish than the others and that's done through transparency that's not done through making it gray or anything uh, so if you do want to do that then you need to use your transparency anyway uh skip the montage of me actually trying to make the bloody thing and see what we end up with
<clears throat> Alright. I think that's it <laughs> for my uh, beautiful modification of just the face, nothing else. <laughs> uh, but I also made the uh, emission there just by whiting out the middle. Uh, and now we can go ahead and save that as our portrait Uriuli. I don't know, when I say that is the same thing that we put in here, right? Which is that. Save it without the uh, emission. And then we can do the same thing for the uh, emission. Put that in there too. Fantastic. Okay, so now we want to grab those two images. We want to chuck it into our mod as well, so that way they are in here. Oopsie, that there has the wrong name. It shouldn't be .png, PNG, it should just be .png. Great. And now, to actually test our mod, what we're going to be doing is uh, make sure that you have the JSON loader mod installed and the debug menu so that way we can just give it to ourselves and actually see if it's working or not and then just click modded cool montage now let's start a new run just to make sure that i haven't broken anything else in the background yeah yeah thank you leshy and now we're going to press a little uh, squiggly thing on our keyboard just in case this thing doesn't come up so that way you can turn it on and off. Uh, let's open that up and go to our uh, deck editor. Thank you. Bring that back. Add card and we want to look for our uh, Ura Yuli Ling. And there we go. So we can see our little card here. So we just click that. You can see a little portrait and the fledgling thing. So we should be able to come back here and there we go. We can see that we have our Tutu uh, Uriuli link with my beautiful art there. Uh, so now what we can do is I want to just skip straight to a fight. So let's go activate all nodes and let's just go straight to there. And there we go. We can see it's on the board. Oh, hey! So what we can actually do, this actually worked out really well. Thanks for the tadpole. So let's do that. Sacrifice these two, chuck them in, ring the bell. Let's hide the debug menu just so that it doesn't look as cruddy. Oh no. Hey look, now we've got ourselves an Uruuri on the board. Look at that. Hey. Alright. Uh cool. Thanks for watching those videos. Uh, hope you have fun making some cars. Be sure to trial around, play a bunch of stuff, play everyone's mods. Uh, and then if you do get a little bit more stuck and want a bit more information, there is the modding discord. Uh, if you also go to this plugins folder where you made your mod, um, um, if you come into here, you go and find Jason Loader, which I think is made by Mad. Uh, just a mad person. Here we go. A Jason card loader. Go into that one. There'll be examples, cards, and a bunch of stuff in here. There's also some other artwork. So you can try and make some other stuff too, like you make yourself some masks as well if you would like. Uh, and yeah, have, have a lot of fun making some cards for your friends. And if you do make some really cool stuff, show them off in the Discord, upload them to Thunderstore. And yeah, have a good time. Peace!